friends, I've been tasked with making some fudgy rich brownies. I'm on a quest to get that done. I'm following this tasty recipe. It calls for two sticks of butter. I got one here, I got some of my chocolate there. And we're gonna take some out of the microwave now. Ooh. mistake. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do. We do have some gluten-free flour, so I wonder if I should do some of that. Do you think it's bad to combine gluten-free with all-purpose flour? We'll find out. Oh, that all-purpose flour isn't good. The gluten-free? Yeah. It had a weird texture. Was Peter it says time? it's not good. It was grainy. It was grainy. But will he tell the difference? We'll find out. <laughs> Okay, I think I let the butter and chocolate sit for enough time. I'm just gonna whisk it together. And I had to do it in two bowls because I didn't have one bowl that was big enough to be microwaved. I'm gonna put it into one other bowl. So there's gonna be a lot of dishwashing after this, but um, you know, hopefully it'll be worth it. Whisk this together. And you can see it's like very chopped woody now. I love when the bowl's like super clean at the end. Yeah. It's very satisfying. Stir, 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 stir. Like orange bowl. Get all the little pieces. No chocolate to waste, as they say. So now it says to add the granulated sugar and the brown sugars, vanilla, and salt. It asks for one and a half cups. I think that's way too much. So I'm just gonna do half a cup or something. I also just realized I should probably transfer this into a bigger bowl. So not only did I just transfer it to this bowl by accident and wasted a bowl, but now I'm going to transfer it to another bowl. So that's one more bowl to wash. Go me. <laughs> you love when you learn. I just realized also that this recipe is called the best one bowl brownies. Well, I've already used, this will be the third bowl. So clearly not the best at, uh, you know, be resourceful. I just dropped my bag of sugar on the ground, but it landed upright, so we're good. <laughs> to clean our floor anyways, so this is a good excuse to get on that pronto. For the brown sugar, I'm just gonna do one for the cup. Okay, so I just added my um, two sugars, and I'm gonna add the vanilla and the salt. So this recipe calls for one tablespoon. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of vanilla. These things ain't cheap though. And one teaspoon of salt. Okay, well, it doesn't look like I have too much salt left. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in there. Okay, now it says whisk to combine. Here I go. Now it says to sift the flour and cocoa. Fold in with a spatula. Got my 
a little handy dandy sifter and I don't think I have enough flour. So I'm gonna have to improvise here. This is how much flour I have and then I need one and one fourth cup. So my options are gluten-free all-purpose flour or bread flour. Which one do you think I should use? I think I'm leaning towards a bread flour and I don't know why, but I'm just gonna try it. I'm nervous, but what can you do? I guess I could get more flour is what I could do, but I'm already in the middle of making this and I didn't check beforehand, which I never do. So pretty. It's like little snow. I've sifted it and I need to fold in with a spatula. Adding my chocolate chips now. Those are, oh. I think you have a fly problem. It's like dead. Ah, it's like moving. It's still squirming. I'm just gonna clean that up real quick. Because that's gross. And I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna pour my chocolate chip. I'm gonna fold it in. Line a nine inch baking pan with partial paper, which I don't have. I also don't have a nine inch square baking pan, so I'm gonna use this. Um, in the hopes that it will suffice. All right, look how clean this looks. Now I'm gonna put this into the oven. There it goes. I don't know what rack you're supposed to put it on, so I'm just gonna put it on that one. Goodbye. Set my timer. I think it said 40 minutes, but I'm not sure. There you go. All right, we'll see how the brownies turn out in about 40-ish minutes um, and hopefully they're as fudgy and rich as tasty made it look like it was but only time will tell 15 minutes left and it smells so good Ooh. let's see what it looks like oh my god it looks so good test I think it's good. This looks and smells so good. This is like one of the thickest brownies I've ever made. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so excited. Look at that. It looks amazing. I just want to show you how amazing this looks and look at those brownies my god peter is gonna come try the brownies now he hasn't seen them yet wow those look really good which one should i try you get to choose which one you want to try Let's see a little almond coconut mm, those are really good <laughs> oh so juicy in the middle would you say these are super rich and fudgy super brownies? rich super fudgy call that a success but the ultimate test is if I like it. Because who cares about what he thinks? It's so rich. And you can't even tell that he's bread flour. <laughs> I think, guys, this was a huge success. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as Peter enjoyed the brownie. I hope you all have a blessed day <laughs> while I enjoy the rest of this amazing brownie. Mwah! Bye! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.